Hey BBs, it's Max, and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? I hope we're all doing super, super, super fierce. In today's video, y'all, we're celebrating. We're having a very, 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 very good and fun and silly ghoul chat because today, it's March 8th, I think this is when this is being posted. It's Ariana Grande album day. <laughs> it's Eternal Sunshine Day. It's new Ariana Grande album era, feeling it, feeling the new Ariana Grande vibe. Um, and... If you're watching this, it, the, the new album is out. The new album is there. I'm so beyond excited to listen to it. And I'm very, very jealous of you guys in the future right now who are able to listen to this album. I'm very, very, very excited. And if you know anything about me, I'm an Ariana Grande fan. Like, I live for Ariana Grande. I love, love, love her. I have some of her perfumes and CDs um, in the back of today's video. And we are obviously miss rapping Miss Grande. I've honestly kind of grown up with Ariana Grande, specifically with, you know, Sam and Cat. And Victoria, oh my, Victorious, duh. Um, and her music has honestly kind of made me a person, I feel like. I feel like I definitely grew with her music and um, I've, you know, lived through all, all the eras and stuff. So I'm, I love her and I'm very, very, very excited for this new album. Again, I'm so beyond excited. And uh, today I wanted to kind of bring my dolls along into my interest of Ariana Grande. Um, and I wanted to kind of give you all some dolls and just sit down and go chat with you guys that kind of have Ariana Grande energy in my brain, that kind of have her essence in doll form. And um, there's not really like a big rhythm or rhyme to this. A lot of these dolls are just like pop stars or they're fun or they're, you know, they have a ponytail or something stupid. Um, but I don't know. I thought it'd just be kind of a fun video to like make and chat and kiki with. Um, it's not too serious. I guess my definition again of an Ariana Grande essence or energy is like, a powerful pop star, um, a girl who, you know, has her motivations done. I feel like a diva who is diving it out, you know, like just like the diva. Um, and obviously the iconic like ponytails, thigh high boots, um, big sweaters, that kind of thing going on. But without further ado, let's just get on my list because I have a couple dolls here. Um, so yeah, I think the first one that I want to start with, honestly, is one of the first dolls that ever had Ariana Grande energy in my brain as like a child. And this is New Scare Messer Gigi Grant from Monster High. Honestly, I brought over both Caddy as well, because I feel like, like we, we know Caddy, first off, we knew Caddy Noir is very, very Ariana Grande anyway. But I feel like Gigi Grant was very like my everything era, like specifically like... I remember like problem music video like that's when this doll was giving and i know this doll like looking at her now as like an adult like there is no ariana grande in it it's just literally the hairstyle but if y'all told me like fourth grade fifth grade me like th like this was ariana grande in it all like i'm telling you like i feel like this doll honestly let me like ariana grande a lot i don't know why i don't know how that connection was really made in my mind again it's probably just the half up half down serving arianka but um yeah, I don't know. I love this doll as well. I feel like Gigi Grant and honestly the new Scare Master line is very underrated as well. I'm not going to say that though because I don't want y'all to like buy them all and go crazy with it. But like this Gigi Grant is like so stellar and I feel like she's very slept on. Um, She's very nostalgic. It's like a childhood doll as well. But my everything Ariana Grande. That's all I have to tell you. And then I did bring over Miss Kylie Noir. I don't really know how this doll is Ariana Grande to me. She's kind of giving like the Andrews Woman a little bit with like the bang era. Not really too much, but I just wanted to show her off because I feel like the new Scare Master line is... So, oh, her bangs have... Got, they're good and boom. I have to gel these down, to be honest, y'all. I've not trimmed these or cut these or done anything since, like, 2022 summertime. So, the gel has definitely not lasted very well. But we gotta ignore... If y'all ignore the bangs, she's given face, she's given mug, and the outfit's giving kind of bag, but that's okay. You know, we all give bags sometimes. Again, there's not much Ariana Grande here, but, like, Kai Noir overall is very Ariana Grande, and I obviously had to bring over also her basic doll, Everyone Falls. Um, this is 13 Wishes Caddy. And I think this was, I think Caddy was doing the thigh-high boot Ariana Grande ponytail thing before Ariana Grande was doing it. And I don't really care. In my brain, in my delusional world, Ariana Grande was the inspiration for this doll, and that's how I'm going to sleep peacefully at night. I don't care who the inspiration was, because it was Ariana Grande, and I'm telling myself that, and I'm going to be happy with that, because... Mattel was low-key never, like, the fashion girl. Like, they were never really on trend specifically with Monster High. I feel like, like, when you look at the Monster High dolls, like, they were always, like, wearing, like, mini dresses or, like, some sort of, like, capri pants. And, like, the fashion was never, like, super fashion. But this was a fashion doll. Like, this was given fashion. Like, the high-low skirt, which, first off, I love a good high-low skirt. I feel like there's some high-low skirt haters out there. And I see you, and I, I don't understand you. Because how is this not... I mean, if you ignore, like, the, the, the train right now is kind of given 
bush. It's kind of given like, ooh, don't look at it. Again, childhood doll. I loved this doll when I was younger, so she has definitely had some ups and downs. But like, I love a good high-low skirt and like the, like the, ah, oh, she's so, like, again, she's, I think she's pretty like, not overrated, but like she's pretty well loved in the community. But yeah, very around grande to me again. The side ponytail. What I have to tell you, and she's like a singer and stuff. And Ariana Grande was very into cats as well during this kind of like my everything dangerous woman era, I want to say. Was that kind of the vibe? Like that, like kind of part in her career. So I wouldn't be surprised again if Ariana Grande was somehow on the mood board for this or she was, or this was on the mood board for Ariana Grande. I don't know, but I'm okay with either or because, <laughs> yeah, she's singing Problem. She's singing Break Free. And I'm okay with that. Like, Oh, I honestly do want to get another Teddy Noir. I wish they would make a reproduction of her low-key, because, like, I want, like, a new dress. I just want one that has, like, the 13 on it, because mine is, again, a little bit musty or dusty, but she's amazing. She's a good doll, though. Picking up the doll that fully flew at me, um, this is, I don't know, this is Formal Funk Jade, and there's, I don't know why I brought this doll over, to be honest with you guys. I just want to show her off, to be honest, because she's really pretty, and she kind of reminds you a little bit of, like, positions, maybe, a little bit. I, this is fully, like, not, like, anything, like, this is, again, just me talking at this point in the video, where I'm just, like, making things up, um, and lying, not lying, but, like, just going with it, um, but, like, I gave her this, like, I think this is, like, step out, like, it's, it's like, a, no, it's not girls, it's girls and out, Dana and Sasha pieces, and, like, do y'all see the positions, T? Do y'all see, do y'all clock it? Like, because she kind of had that ponytail a little bit still. I mean, the ponytail wasn't as high as, like, Thank You Next Era was. But it was still a pony. I mean, was it? No, it was a little bit lower, right? And it was, like, a little bit, like, curly. I don't know how it was. I don't remember it that much, girl. But, um, like, she's kind of given, like, positions a little bit. And I'm okay with that. Like, we don't have to go, we don't have to have, like, lay on this one for too long. Because, like, again, there's not much thought behind it. But, like, I like it. I'm happy with her. And she kind of gives, like, 30 foot 35. Can you stay up all night? Another Bratz doll that I wanted to bring over, and I this is so cheating. I don't even care. But Forever Diamonds Yasmin has always been around grounded to me. Um, I again, I know this doll came out in like what 2004, 2005, probably like a I think 2005, right? 2006, 2006, kind of pushing it. I think I don't remember when this doll came out to be honest with you guys. Um, but I love Forever Diamonds line, and like you can't tell me this is not a diva with a mission. Like this ponytail is sleeked for the gods. She has the fur on, the diamonds on, and she is going somewhere, and she's important. And that's exactly what I need from her. Um, again, I know this is a doll way before Ariana, but um, oh, she's just like perfect. Again, I just want to show off Forever Diamonds Yasmin because I feel like she, there's a stand that just fell. I feel like she's just like again, mine is a little wonky, delicious. Oh my god, she looks better in person and not mirrored because like this, the camera's mirrored. But, like, she's just stellar. And hopefully one day I get her actual shawl. This is, like, some sort of, I don't even know what this is. Like, some sort of thing from AliExpress. But, um, yeah. And also, Yasmin had made that reference in the first Talking Brats episode where she's, like, something with Ariana Grande and, like, the, 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 the Zodiac signs or something. And ever since that video or ever since, like, the first episode or whatever it was, Yasmin is Ariana Grande somehow. They're morphed into the same person. But, like... At least she's a stan of... She's an arianator, or whatever they call that. Do they still call themselves arianators? Whatever. She's one of them. But, like, on a nice one. Like, a chill one. I don't like fan bases. They scare me. On a one that's more... um, I Definitely more influenced and more... Not relevant, but, like, of the time right now. Like, this is Robin Sterling from the Summer Party line. And I want to say there was actually some, like, inspiration connections from the Seven Rings Grammy music performance. So that kind of ended the Thank You Next era with the big robe. Again, the big ponytail. Like, we're seeing this thick, juicy, licious. It needs to be brushed and probably dusted because there's dust in the air now. But, like, y'all seen the big, juicy, thick ponytail. Y'all see the Thank You Next robe. I don't... I mean, like, the Tiffany's... The Tiffany's was a um, reference, I think, probably to the breakfast, not Tiffany, like the Tiffany's necklace. Like, we are not stupid, we're adults. Um, yeah, I don't know. Again, she's pretty much a direct influence by Ariana, um, specifically because obviously, I think Mattel, MGA is very like trendy, not currently, but like they were, like they have people who know fashion, unlike other brands. Um, and I would not be surprised if there is many references to Ariana here. And I'm happy with that because that means I get Ariana Grande dolls. And Robin Sterling, this is like one of my favorite Rainbow High dolls like ever. Like no T, no shade. Like I need to update my Rainbow High top 10 list, which I might do soon, y'all. Do y'all want that? Do y'all care about Rainbow High still? Does like does anyone care? But like she's definitely at least top five. And I feel like I didn't put her as high as I should have in my last video. But she like low-key is like really, like really good. And um, yeah, very Ariana. Ariana. 
Um, and she's going to buy seven rings for her friends at Tiffany's and having breakfast there or something. I don't know. One that has no thoughts, no vibes. This is just like a fan of Ariana. Uh, this is what, what BTW. Oh girl, what's her name? Her name is Fancy Girl. I'm going with Fancy Girl. I don't actually care what her name is to be honest. This doll came out in what, like 2021. I'm getting old. Like this doll came out a while ago. Oh my god. I'm gonna like have like a mini like something. I feel like. That's with a tangent, quickly. Like, when I'm looking at dolls that, like, I bought, like, in, like, my prime of doll collecting or whatever, and, like, I'm just, like, this was forever ago. Oh, my God. But, um, yeah. So, Ariana Grande, like, thank you, next music video. It's, like, she's, like, the mean girl kind of adaptation, like, the modern mean girls kind of thing. No, no, no thoughts. No thoughts. Um, I just really like her. Again, half up, half down. Very pink. Very fun. Very girly. Very silly licious. Like, um, I love her. I love this doll. She is so cute. And she's like pockets. She's like squeezable size, which is really good. Like I like the dolls when you can just be like, Rawr. um, I can, I have you in my hand and you are not leaving. Um, I love the BTWs again. Like I'm kind of growing to like, love these a lot. And yeah, she's a fan. She's at least, she's at least a fan. So more, I think again, OMG was very, 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 um, in like their prime as well. Very Ariana. And obviously the one that we have to go through first is the one, the, I'm trying to think of which one's more iconic. And I want to say... More iconic in the terms of, like, actual Ariana Grande references is definitely Miss Kitty K from the remix line. Um, uh, Dangerous Woman. This is, like, a side-to-side -side performance or something. I forget where some of these other references come from. I don't know exactly who makes a list or if there's a list available, but, yeah, she has some crazy references, and she's amazing. I am love- I love this doll. Like, even, like, the- the shade of, like- this is, like, the shade she- uh, she had in, like, the- the- the Focus music video. And I love it. Like, there is some, like, tinsel in it, which I don't super love. But, like, the bangs are going back to, like, Dangerous Woman era, which I love. This doll was really cool because she was, like, very modern. Like, she's very, like, current in trends. And, like, I know Ariana Grande. Like, her, she was still... She's, her trends are still kind of current. But, like, this feels like a breath of fresh air into, like, what Ariana Grande was doing again. Like, 2017 era. Is that okay to say? Um, And that's not, like, super outdated. It's not current. But, like, it's not, like you know, 25 years ago or something, like, 70 years ago of, like, this, like, fashion that's super dated, but, like, I feel like this design is still very current. It's kind of classic in a way. I mean, it's not super classic. Like, the cat years are kind of, like, five years ago or whatever, but, like, I don't know. Like, I really enjoy Kitty K. I feel like Kitty K is, like, one of the best OMG dolls in the entire universe in the world, and, like, there's no denying, like, the fierce, like, the ring. I, every time I see a ring now, it's, like, Ariana Grande, but, um, yeah. This is cl very clearly Ariana and, um, I love KK. I wish we got her fierce doll. I wish we got her fierce doll. But, you know what? It's okay. You know, um, I'm trying not to think about the fierce uh, Kitty K that I, we were robbed of. But, um, yeah. This is also, like, one of my first OMG dolls as well. So, I really, really love her. And, um, yeah. <laughs> That's all I have to say about that. But then, the next one that I was kind of, like, talking about was one of the ones from the first wave, this is Lady Diva, and if y'all watch the show, or if y'all watch any of the movies, Lady Diva's whole character is that she's a pop star on the go, and she's, like, always has a high note she's singing, and she's always, like, you know, divaing it out, and I don't know, like, I feel like, obviously, she's very, like, the ponytail and the thigh-high boots, like, we get, we get it, we've been seeing the pattern for, like, the entire video, like, no, sh nothing's new happening, but, like, I love Lady Diva, and I feel like no one talks about Lady Diva anymore, because no one cares about OMG in general, but, like, these glasses are fully not hers. But, like, she's just so cute. And she's Ariana Grande. And her whole character is Ariana Grande. I think a better example of her being Ariana Grande is obviously the Fierce doll. Um, I do not love the Fierce doll. I live for... Like, this is, like, the best Fierce doll ever that was made... Uh, everything falls off of her, though, which is kind of annoying. But, um, yeah. Again, there's... You just... We, we see it. We're not, like, stupid. But, like... She's so drama lit. She's so juicy. Like, I love a good juicy doll. You know? Like, the mug is on. The mug is stamped. The hair is done. The outfit's snatched. Like, the body tee. Face tee. Um, yeah. So, she's a performer, and she's really, really fun. I love- I also do miss the Fierce dolls. I think the Fierce dolls are really, really cool, but... An OMG that kind of stretches it, again, is the Thank You Next. What is this one? No. This is not- This is, uh, Rain On Me. What is your name? Oh, I'm gonna bite myself, because I used to know all their names so bad. I don't remember her name. 
Jumps Queen? Girl, like, I don't know. This diva had no personality. But, like, this one, from the, the first wave of the sports line, that's the Rain On Me makeup. And the, the ponytail. Is, she actually, I heard I already had a ponytail, that, like, this one time. I, it was, like, a bubble braid. I don't remember what it was for or anything. But, like, it was just kind of like, on her Instagram, I think. And, yeah. Just just for the face, I'll, to be honest. The bow is kind of hideous. But, like, if you ignore it and, like, you just, see, like, look at the face and the big, fun bubble ponytail, like... Yeah, it's there, and I'm I'm eating it up. I promise this is the last one that's, like, a big stretch. And it's just, like, Regina, or what's her name? Glitch? Regina Glitch? Is it Glitch? Is that her name? Does he name this girl Glitch? It's, watch it not be Glitch. I think it's on her little thing. Whatever this one's name was as well. Shadow High Series 2, girl. I don't know how to describe it, but, like, when I'm holding her in my hands, she has a high note she's waiting to let out. She has a dog that is shoved in her purse. Like, I don't know. Like, it's just, like, low-key, just, like, this face. And it's not really even the face. Like, this is fully a black girl. Ariana Grande's not black. She doesn't do her edges. But, like, do y'all see? Like, she's a singer, and, like, the outfit has nothing to do with that that woman. Like, she is, this outfit is nothing Ariana Grande's ever touched. But, like, do we see it? Like, probably not. But, like, I feel it in my bones. And, it's, again, this giant juicy ponytail um and this is a stretch um but yeah i i love i think glitch is her name i don't know this doll is also really cool i've been like looking at all my dolls i'm like these are cool dolls i don't know but yeah i'm crazy and psychopathic again this is one that's actually more on the nose this is harmonique from the winter wave no harmonique from the mermaids original line this is sweetener like sweetener to, to, to the t like um the bubble braid kind of thing going on the high ponytail the the little like puffy sleeves with like, the pink and the corset and the da -da -da. Yeah, like she's a singer as well like no surprise copy i mean i'm not mad they copied and pasted i mean if they copied and pasted we'd have a human doll and like she would have like cool thigh highs and like it would have been like a thing but like i'm happy with this like this is very fun again very sweetener very sweetener and i love sweetener's my favorite Ariana Grande album and era to be honest i mean not i guess it can't be my favorite era but like my favorite like because like she was doing very bad there or whatever but i love this album so bad and yeah this is very nostalgic as well. I love, 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 love this piece. So, Harmonique's been that girl. And if you stayed throughout this video um, of my nonsense, I want to give you all my last doll. And this doll doesn't even fully make sense. And I kind of just thought about it, like, before I was, like, picking out the dolls for this. But like, this doll is Eternal Sunshine. This doll is the new Ariana Grande era. And it is Victoria Whiteman. And not that she looks like Ariana Grande or anything, but, like, the fact that she's, like, the bleach... Like, not the blue, like, the, the very light eyebrows with the light blonde hair. And, like, she's very, like, this new era is very, like, soft colors. It's very, like, neutral, I want to say. It's definitely toned down. It's not super pop star. It's not super glam. It's, maybe it is, and I don't know. It doesn't feel like that. It feels very, like, monotoned almost. I don't know. Maybe it won't be monotone. I'm eating my words. But, like, again, I haven't even listened to the album yet. But, like, from, like, what we've seen so far, the era feels very, like, soft and subdued and this is exactly what victoria whiteman is giving me is that her name is it victoria whiteman victoria charles whatever this girl's name is victoria that's exactly what she's giving me like she's giving me this eternal sunshine vibe um and i just wanted to point that out and kind of talk about that because i think she's really really cool and i think if she's released like today it, like it would have made everyone been like eternal sunshine ah! but like she was released last year before eternal sunshine was probably even like doing anything but yeah these are kind of just some dolls that i kind of had again had our energy i probably if you had any sort of way to like do a drinking game and you wanted to count how many times like, to take a shot every time i say Ariana grande you'd probably be gone by now but like we're not gonna do that um i don't know i think this video is kind of fun and stupid and silly it's kind of just a cool chat um i just want to talk about dolls that i love and that remind me of my favorite pop star because i don't know yeah, happy music day to everyone watching. If you guys are also a fan, let me know how you guys like the album. Let me know your favorite song. Let me know your least favorite song. No, actually, don't tell me your least favorite song because I would. I don't want to know that. I want to know your favorite song. Um, if you guys have listened to it yet, I'm dying, dying, dying to know. And I'll try to put like maybe in the description below if I remember. I probably won't remember, but I'll try to put my favorite song from the first listen maybe in there. I don't know. But I am very, 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 very excited for all the new Ariana Grande stuff because again, I am a stan. I love music. I love pop stars. Um, and yeah, again, love dolls, love everything, and I don't know, just good, silly vibes, that's what we're going for in 2024, like, silly, silly vibes, happy vibes, good vibes only, but yeah, thank you guys again, though, so, so, so much for watching today's video, it was so much fun with you guys, and I cannot wait to catch y'all, though, in the next one, I love you guys all endlessly, have a good day, and stream eternal sunshine, love you, bye, bye, everybody!